Managing audio routing within Mac OS can get challenging, even more so if you're using multiple interfaces, and even more so, again, if you need detailed control over multiple applications. These videos are made possible by the incredible people whose names are on the screen right now. Join them by becoming a channel member here on YouTube or join the crew on Patreon linked below. This is not a sponsored video. We paid full price for this software and use it daily. Now let's take a look at what SoundSource does and why it is so useful. This is one of a handful of utilities that I would love to see included with Mac OS someday, just like iStat menus, which I've been using since my 2006 white MacBook. Similarly, you generally control sound source from the menu bar where it can replace or just sit right alongside your system volume control. One of my favorite features of sound source is the additional meters that can appear in the menu bar for the input and output level. And these also act as one click mute switches, which can be very handy. SoundSource windows can also be pinned open above other applications or called up using a user-defined global hotkey. But now let's get into the audio stuff. In macOS, you have system audio to work with, of course, system input, system output, and your effects volume. The OS volume and sound preferences lets you choose which device you want to use for system input and output, and audio MIDI setup gives you a few more options for aggregating devices and fine tuning some other settings, but what about audio going in and out of different applications? It's not ridiculous to think of a very basic case where you might want to have this setup either. This isn't big studio stuff or necessarily large production stuff. This is everyday folks working with digital media that need this functionality. You might have multiple interfaces for different tasks. Uh, for instance, I use USB interfaces as well as audio network interfaces for various different things. And sometimes it's just as simple as I like one interface uh, for a specific function and I wanna use it and it's a networked interface. So I have that accessible to my computer. You could be doing live streaming, you could be doing uh, broadcast work, you could be doing a whole bunch of other things, or you could just be somebody who does creative work and editing in one piece of software and would like to have something like a YouTube window open on a browser playing to a different output than your main monitoring system that you're using for editing video or working on your art or whatever it is. But whatever reason you need it or whatever combo of gear you're using that needs this functionality, this is a really good place to adjust individual volume, balance, sample rate, and EQ, especially uh, for individual outputs right here in SoundSource. If you want to apply a custom EQ to a certain output, this is the place to do it. And you can even insert plugins here for easy metering or final processing before it leaves your system. The main idea here is that you can look at all of the things taking in or putting out audio on your system, whether that's a application dedicated to editing or working with audio, or it's just a browser or any other software. This lets you assign those directly to the specific interface you want to use and have some detailed control that you can make sure is there every time you use them. You can also audition plugins on your output stage, like different limiters and things without having to fire up a full application if you're just listening to a rough playback or a demo or a file somebody sent across to you. So if you work with audio every day or you have people sending you clips and you wanna audition them and hear different things, this is a really nice way to do it casually, but also be able to apply some real metering or processing. And that's one of the main reasons SoundSource stays in my menu bar all the time now. If you need more granular patching though, Rogue Amoeba also has Loopback, which is an app that allows routing between different applications. And they also make a few other handy utilities as well, like Airfoil, which lets you stream audio locally around your network, it's really cool. And also Audio Hijack, and that one lets you record any audio that's playing back on your computer. 
We can take a look at those in the future if there is an interest from folks here. So let me know in the comments if you'd like to see those or if you have any questions you'd like to see answered about SoundSource. Also, let us know how you are currently handling routing like this on your system. Do you have a better way to do this than using this software? Is there other software for Windows or Mac that you like better than this for the same functionality? Or does Windows have a way of handling routing like this natively these days? It's worth mentioning that SoundSource is available only for Mac OS. So much like QLab, this one is for Apple only. That's it for SoundSource by Rogue Amoeba. It's a really handy little utility and I'd love to know what you think about it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.